Okay, guys. So you're on face it. Trying to play face it. You're opening the anti cheat and you get this. Secure boot needs to be enabled. Okay. So this is kind of a pain to do, but let's do it. Because I could not find any good videos on how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you want to turn off the PC. Let me just do that real quick. There we go. And now I'm going to turn it on again. And I need to click F2 to get into the BIOS settings. So I'm going to just be clicking F2. This is a little slow, but it's fine. There we go. Okay, so now we're on BIOS. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to click Advanced Mode. Then, up here you have all the different stuff. We want to click on Boot, on the Boot thing. And we go Secure Boot. Now, these are the ones you want to change. So for me, I find that if I go here and I switch this one to Windows UEFI Mode, and I go this just Standard, then, as far as I could understand, this mode right here is the. I'm running on Windows 11, so UEFI just means you run the default Windows 10 startup version. Um, so this means it just runs the same way Windows 10 10 runs, um, as far as I could understand. Okay. So you just click exit, save changes, and reset. And then, yeah, these are the changes. Just click OK. And we wait for my slow PC to start up again. Now, I hope this helps for you guys. Uh, I used to search around. I could not find any good videos how to do this. So I thought that I, I, I had to do it. Because nobody else did it, I, I had to do it, you know. Here we go. It's about to open the PC. Here we go. Quick face it. And it's good. It's all good. So that's how you do it. Now you can go, you can quick face it. And just let this all out. Very nice. Now you're good. It works. It's online. You can quick face it. It's Hope that helps you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, hope it helps.